standard time is the time allowed to an operator to carry out the specified task under the specified condition and define level of performance. Some additional time is added to the basic time to arrive standard time of a task. In practice, none can work throughout the day without taking rest. Operators need time for relaxation from fatigue. Various allowances include relaxation allowance, contingency allowances like machine breakdown, bundle allowance etc. Let's look into the basic constituents of standard time through a chart. First of all, we have our standard time over here, as we said earlier the observed time and the different allowances is also counted into this standard time. Included into this standard time, there are some unavoidable delays, or some allowances for time lost in tool breakage, power failures etc., and, there are also some work interference allowances, the work interference allowances time is included into the work content of the job to compensate the operator for the unavoidable loss of production due to simultaneous stoppage of two or more machines being operated by him. Now, together these allowances for unavoidable delays and work interference allowances constitute the contingency allowance. Deducting the unavoidable delays from the standard time, we get the actual work content. Now, after the contingency allowances are taken on account, there will be also some relaxation allowances. The relaxation allowances are calculated so as to allow the worker to recover from fatigue. This relaxation allowance is an addition to the basic time intended to provide the worker with the opportunity to recover from the physiological and psychological effects of carrying out specified work under specified conditions and to allow attention to personal needs. The amount of allowance will depend on nature of the job. After that, there will be allowances for adding performance rating factor to the observed time. And, finally after taking all that into account, the time we get is the observed time, only if performed at a pace greater than standard pace. This observed time, along with the performance rating factor, and some process allowances together constitute the basic time, we could also call the basic time as the normal time. So, this is all the constituents that together makes up the standard time for a simple manual job, 